Hey guys, so today I am going to tell you about one of my favorite shadow scents combinations and it is just simply a trio plus one if you decide to do an extra step of shadow sense shadow sense is senegens's cream to powder shadow it is so blendable so versatile and it's just one of my very favorite things um, if you're not sure how to apply it this will be a great video for you to learn just the basics of applying it and just some um, great things that you can do to, to get a pulled together look so i hope you'll stay tuned to check it out shadow sense tutorial and um, this is just a super simple easy look for shadow sense and it also is going to kind of show you how to apply shadow sense because some people kind of aren't sure how to work with it um, if you aren't familiar with shadow sense it's a cream to powder formula um, it comes in a tube like this and you have a, a couple minutes to work with it before it sets and becomes smudge resistant water resistant and so today I just kind of wanted to walk you through how I apply um, my shadow scents and I'm going to actually use four shadow scents today this one candlelight the fourth one that I'm going to use you wouldn't have to use but it's just something that I choose to do so hopefully um, you'll kind of see if you want to start with shadow scents you don't have to buy a lot of colors you can definitely just do one shadow look but i just wanted to show you how you can use a few of them to create an eye look today so the first shadow scent that i'm going to use is candlelight candlelight is super versatile and it can be used like a concealer um, lots of different just great smoothing abilities so what i'm going to do first is i'm just going to take the wand and i'm going to apply a little candlelight to each lid and i'm going to blend that out all over my lid I'm doing this so that it kind of gives me a smooth canvas to work on. It cancels out all of the little veins that I have going on on my eyes and just kind of gives a nice smooth canvas. You can also go back in the end if you made a mistake and you're having a hard time getting it fixed, you can use um, candlelight to cover that up too. So I'm just using a brush to take that all over my lid and just kind of blend it out to give a smooth base. The second shadow sense that I'm going to use is Mocha Java, and Mocha Java is really creamy matte brown. Um, it also comes in a shimmer formula. And with this one, I'm going a little bit light to the touch. So I'm not gonna use the wand this time to apply it, but I'm gonna use a brush and take some of the excess that is on the wand and just put it all over my brush to give me just a really light coverage. So this is great for some of those darker colors if you're nervous about even though Mocha Java isn't dark, but if you have other darker shadow sense colors um, and you're nervous about putting too much on, this is a great um, way to go about it. So I brush that on and then I'm just gonna go into my crease and kind of do a little bit of a windshield wiper movement. So I'm gonna swirl there and then just windshield wiper up into my crease just to give my eyes a little bit of a dimension. Mocha Java is something that I wear a lot to just kind of give some dimension. So you can see how it just made my eye pop out a little bit more and gives a little bit of that shadowed look. So I'm gonna put my wand back in there again and do the same thing. Just take some of the excess off my wand, blend it around, and then hit that crease again on the other eye. I seem to do this when I do eyeshadow. I do both eyes at the same time just so I get consistent with the amount of product that I'm putting on each part. That's what works for me. I know some people like to do one eye and then the other but for me I just like to work back and forth between my two eyes. So Mocha Java's there. It is in our creases and we're just going to kind of leave it at that and if we need to come back in the end and blend it a little bit more we totally can. The next color I'm going to use is Mulberry. My sticker fell off but this is a, a super awesome shadow sense um, it's kind of a toasted rose color and you can also use it as a blush if you want um, mine is a well-loved tube um, with this one I am going to again just use the wand and apply it kind of on the outer two-thirds of my lid kind of low on the tube there um, and just kind of work it out a little bit getting so low I'm gonna take some off of the wand so I have some right there so we're just gonna kind of take that and put it on the outer two-thirds of my lid so it just adds a little bit of pink um, 
to my eye, I'm gonna have to use the brush because I'm almost out. And then I'll do that to the other eye too. So I'm just taking it to the outer two thirds and just kind of blending that there. If you don't want your colors to blend together as much, if you want a little bit more of a definition between the colors, um, let your colors set a little bit more between, between steps, um, then they won't blend as well together if you want more of, of a definite color difference. So I have Mulberry there and Mocha Java all over. So the last one that we're gonna do is Pink Frost. And Pink Frost is a really light pink and it's almost like a pink white just really pastel so i'm going to take this and put it on just the inner part of each eye and then i'm actually also going to take it down here a little bit to brighten up the inner corners then i'm going to grab another brush um, this is kind of a pencilish brush and just blend it in down there and blend it in up here a little bit. But this light pink just gives a really nice brightness to your inner eye. If you can see, there's like a little drop of white there. Um, it just brightens everything up. So if you wanna brighten up your eyes, just taking a dot of like white or really light pink shadow scents will do the job for you. So it just adds some brightness to the inner corner. So I noticed this one didn't get quite as much, so we're gonna go back and do that. Just a touch more. I'm gonna take the brush that had the mulberry and go back with that. And then once everything is done, if you want to clean up your edges, you can take just a clean brush and blend it over everything. Um, if you feel like you got too dark on the top or too dark on the outers, you can always take candlelight or a concealer of some sort and go back in and clean it up a little bit if you want to like highlight under your brow um, anything like that you can always go back and clean that up but this is a super simple quick um, shadow sense look you didn't even have to use the candlelight so really you could just use three colors if you wanted to um, but but basically we just did inner crease um, on the outer two-thirds and then something more, a little bit lighter in the inner corner and then you have a completed eye look. So I'm gonna go on and put my liner and my mascara on and then we will show you the finished look. I have my mascara and my eyeliner on and I just wanted to show you kind of the look of it all. So if you look at my eye, it is kept pretty subtle um, but it just is a nice, really pretty look. This is a great everyday look. It's a great day, you know, date night look if you like to, if you're typically a one shadow person and you wanna add a little bit of dimension to your eye, doing those three shadows is just gonna give it a little bit of a pop. If you're even more looking for a more dramatic smoky eye, you could do a darker color in your crease like garnet or rustic brown or um, something fun like that. But this is just one of my favorite eyeshadow looks. I love just the brightness in the inner corner of my eyes and it's just something that I typically wear every day, but I love makeup, so I love those little added touches. So thanks for watching. Um, let me know if you have any questions or if you like to order.